you know, when I was watching the movie last night, my hair, I felt like I started like Kate at the start of the movie. And yeah. It was like nice and, yeah, you know, cute. neat. And your hair's curly now. Yeah, and now by the end, I'm kind of going a bit crazy. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's amazing how The Turning is based on the turn of the screw, the novel from the, 19, uh, from the 1890s, mm -hmm. which sent shivers down the spines of people back then. Mm -hmm. And yet a movie today can still cause thriller chills over 100 years later. Yeah. Why is that? I think because the true horror at the end of the novella and at the end of the movie is the audience having to unpack what they just saw and go back to the beginning, that you're being led through a story by, by an unreliable narrator, which was a new concept at the time, and still feels like we're not used to not trusting the protagonist because we're used to... to empathizing as soon as the movie starts or as soon as the book starts of being like this is the mind that I'm in this is my proxy and we're going to go through this together and I think having to re-examine what you saw before for good or for bad but just to to not trust the thing you saw um, is a really enduring cool theme and I think it, it it's why we can justify continuing to examine this story because each generation will have a different interpretation of um, of the themes and, and what it's like to be implicated in this moment. There's a saying, uh, never work with uh, children or animals, mm -hmm. yet a lot of the horror movies that are the most horrifying yeah. have children. So what was it like working with Brooklyn and Finn? It was wonderful. I um, I have heard that saying many times and, uh, and was scared by it, but uh, Brooklyn is delightful. I'm mm -hmm. sure you have interviewed her, and yeah. she is just an absolute joy, and so funny and and alive. And I think added a really necessary lightness on set. And then Finn just isn't a kid. He's he was 15 when we shot it, but he's really mature and and educated and interested in the world around him and in movies, and just wants to be like an auteur. I think <laughs> so. He's you don't feel I don't know like you're you're having to compromise anything working with him. You can really collaborate and and between the two of them, it was just such a lovely environment to be in. Now I just interviewed them and I asked Brooklyn about your secret handshake mm -hmm. of which she revealed mm -hmm. but don't worry I won't tell anyone don't else. Tell anyone. No but can I do the secret handshake with you? Do you remember it? No. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was up high. Okay. So like as in like oh yeah. okay. So that and then down to the side. Okay this other seems right. side. Todd. <laughs> Yes, yeah. the mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Yes, she revealed all of it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Thank you for preparing me so I can now surprise her with it yes. as though I never forgot. Yes, I did. I was able to come up with uh, a secret handshake with Finn. It's Ours is now like a little bit of a dead fish. We oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite handshake on any occasion. Yeah. Just someone presenting their like limp hand to yeah, me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, now, the Bly estate itself is like a character. What was it like for you when you first saw of that incredible house. So it's just exactly how it sort of mutates over the course of the movie. I think we were all just blown away. You're like, oh, what? Like it just looks like, I mean, we don't have those sorts of buildings in Canada or we don't have them in the US. There's some old houses, but not this sort of estate, this aristocracy, um, this, yeah, arist aristocratic estate. Um, but then we shot there for a long time and you get comfortable and you start just lying on the couches and putting your feet up and then being, you know, it, it gets into your bones. It's like those places are cold, they're expensive to heat. So you're constantly kind of shuttling from one warm space where the people are to spaces where no people are because it's too cold. And I don't know, it always felt like it was changing. Like I would think I was in one part of the estate and then I would look down and be over the garage, but that didn't make any sense. Cause, and I was having to do the math of how I walked all the time. So yeah, it felt, it felt like it had a little mind of its own. It's a little bit freaky, yeah. yeah. Now, you know, the wardrobe, Kate's hair, uh, uh, the cinematography, lighting, even the maze really show us into how Kate's mind is unraveling. Can you talk a little bit about, as an actor, what techniques you used to show Kate's mental deterioration in the movie? I mean, uh, so much of it was a collaboration between those departments and those people and setting up in the very beginning where we wanted her to start and where we wanted her to end and how we could do it in a way that you know, by the time she gets to the end, you're like, oh, she looks wildly different. But at no point in the movie are you like, oh, the way she looked in that scene is so different from the way she looks in this next scene that we sort of slowly undid her all the time. And it's so helpful <laughs> to, to look in the mirror and see the unraveling version of yourself and just enter that space. It's like a little, um, what's that Inception thing, the totem? 
thing that oh, they'd spin. Kind of blank, but yeah, yeah, but it like it like yes. clicks you again yes. where you're like, oh, okay, I'm here. Yeah. And 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 I, I I love that. I love building the aesthetics of that 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 then sort of permeate inside. Wow. Well, thank you so much uh, for this mind uh, puzzling movie. Great. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Nice thank you. you. Oh, I just gave you a shitty handshake. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!